And now, TV Talk with your host, Bill Needle. Hi, I'm Bill Needle. Welcome to my new show, TV Talk. I just want to thank the folks here at SCTV and their affiliated friends at NBC for giving me another chance. I know I don't deserve it. I haven't been able to hold down a single show since I've been employed here, and even though my ratings have been miserable, I've continued to receive my weekly checks. I guess my ideas just aren't commercial enough to interest the public. Anyway, I, I hope you like my new show, TV Talk. <clears throat> you know, back in the 50s, there were basically only three magazines, Time, Life, and National Geographic. Now when you pass a newsstand, you see hundreds, thousands of magazines uh, dealing with virtually every interest group, uh, uh, fishing, uh, model railroader, uh, uh, cat fancy, get a load of that, you know? Then there's people, there's us, there's... Look, check this one out, dirt bike, there's Nave, there's Nave, there's... Okay, you get the idea. Okay, now what's this got to do with TV? I'll tell you, in exactly the same way, 25 years ago, there were only three major TV networks. You know who they are, I don't have to mention their names. Today, in the 80s, take a look at what's happened. trouble with my chart here. I guess this show doesn't have a big enough budget. To... Okay, there we go. Here, take a look at this. Showtime, HBO, Warner Communications, Cable News Network, you know, PBS. There's the big three down there. The market has virtually exploded. It's blown wide open, just like the magazine market. I guess you're wondering, what's my point? Well, what's bugging me is the Nielsen rating system was also begun, for television anyway, it was begun in the 50s. And it was designed to monitor the popularity of the old three networks, and that's it. Well, ratings have never worked, and now there are so many options open to the viewing public that Nielsen can't keep up with them all. Furthermore, with the advent of videotape recorders, there's no longer any such thing as prime time. People can watch their favorite shows whenever they feel like it. They tape it, they watch what they want, when they want. So as far as I'm concerned, the A.C. Nielsen Company can go take a flying... Yeah. Yeah, needle here. What? Well, what are they? A, f a 14 rating and a 30 share? Are you, are you sure? That's real good for late night, isn't it? Great. All right. Thank you. Thanks for the instant overnights. Thanks. Well, seems like the numbers on Bill Needle's TV talk show have just gone through the roof. You know, you got to hand it to the folks at A.C. Nielsen. They got a difficult job to do, and they do it well. Maybe some of you are wondering how Bill Needle does it. Well, I'd like to tell you the novelty factor. That's the key. A new show every week. When a new show debuts, people tune in once just to see how bad it can be. That's why Bill Needle has never done the same show twice. And that's why his Nielsen ratings are legendary in this industry. Boys, roll that tape I prepared. Let it be said about Bill Needle that he never did the same show twice. And that's it for this show, too. You'll never see this show on again. Because I got the ratings I wanted, and I guess Bill Needle just chalked up another one. <laughs> but I'll be back. Or if not, that's okay, too. Because wherever you find backstabbing or infighting, I'll be there. Wherever there's a little guy or a bunch of little guys telling dirty stories, I'll be there. Ha, 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 ha.